Hello guys, this is Creative Search Joe and for today I will be teaching you how to make an electronic voting machine. That actually works. So guys, my reasons for doing this particular project is because of the just concluded Nigerian election that came with so many irregularities. So I decided to focus more on transparency and at the same time, a fun project for whoever wants to do it. So guys, let's get to it. For this project, I'll be using cardboard or carton as the casing. So these are the measurements. This will be used for the card slot. It won't have any function for this device, but I decided to just put it. And maybe in the future, I might just make it functional. The next thing I did was to cut the cardboard into small rectangles and glue them together. This was to act as support for the buttons. So guys, I'm on tindercard.com where I will be designing my system. So guys, this is the finished system. I decided to change the colors of the LED lights and then have the connections, these wires, then the various colors to help you know where to place them on the Arduino. Now, before we type in the code, I'd like you to do something. Please click on the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. And if you're enjoying what I'm doing, please like and also share because that's the only way I can keep doing this. So thank you guys. So let's go back now. So a link will be shared for this particular drawing for you to download this if you want to and for also for the code. So let's go build. Since I didn't have a breadboard, I decided to cut this tiny black cardboard, placed the buttons to trace where it will be and cut the required points to allow the button sit on it. and then connected the wires. I didn't have a soldering machine, so I decided to use the hot gum to hold the wires to the connected parts and it worked perfectly.
for the LCD, I decided to connect all the required wires at the appropriate places and used the hot gum to hold them down. Copy all, paste, and this is the code. After connecting the code to the voting machine, I decided to give it a try. When I clicked the first button, I discovered that it wasn't beeping. I clicked the second one, it wasn't beeping, and I tried the third button, it wasn't beeping. So, wow, first problem. So I decided to check the wires and the connections to see if I made a mistake. After checking, there was no issue, so I had to change the port for the buzzer, thinking maybe that particular port was faulty, and then I try again. The same problem hasn't been fixed, so I have to check the codes now to see if probably I made a mistake while running the codes. I checked the code, there was a mistake and I had to correct it. I didn't include the port as an output for the buzzer. I've corrected that and now I guess all problems are solved. You see, it's working now. So that's it guys. So let me just buckle up the parts properly because this part is exposed cover it and then cover the system and I think we're good to go Just to regulate the, the display, then let's vote. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this wonderful video. If you did, please give me a like. If you've not subscribed, please do subscribe. 
Until we meet again, don't forget, it's okay to be different and creative. Until we see you next time, I remain your one and only creative Sasha. See you guys. <laughs>